Marine expert Danny is going to give us a rundown on the newest, best air conditioning tech for our boats. Now there's three types of AC units covered here in this video. The first one is standard AC compressor units. These are the ones that we're all used to. They just slam on and slam off, running at 100% power full tilt. The second type is variable speed units. These ramp up within a limited range. They, seem, they tend to work better for lithium ion setups, but are otherwise pretty close to the same thing as the standard ones. And then lastly, and the one that is really being focused on in this video with Danny, is this new tech that is adopted from commercial uses, like from cruise ships, and has been miniaturized for use on our boats. It's really sick, and looking forward to you guys learning more about it. Drop any comments or questions down below. Okay guys, so here Danny with the Yard Rigger, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, those uh, cool machines. Those are like air conditioning and those are VRV systems. And we're gonna talk a little bit of the compressors that are used on, uh, on uh, different uh, air conditioning systems. There are like the single stage compressor for um, regular uh, air conditioning units. So that compressor is only on off. It has a big spike when, it, uh, when it's starting and uh, it only has one speed. So it uh, runs and then when you set, uh, when you reach the set point, it stops. And then uh, when the thermostat go, goes down, it starts again. So all the time it's working at full speed, just on off. We have another type of compressors that are like the dual speed. So basically they can adjust the speed compressor in between 70% and 100%. And um, so basically they start at 100% just to get to that set point and then most of the time they run at 70% just to maintain the temperature and uh, save energy. Those compressors that uh, Thermodynamica um, is using, um, they can adjust the speed in between 25% uh, and 100% on increments of 1%. So uh, that unit uh, has a control board that works uh, with the with the control boards on the on the air handler unit and it's like constantly monitoring what are the needs of that unit and constantly like checking what are the pressures in the whole system what are the temperatures in the whole system adjusting the speed and the opening of the expansion valves on the evaporators one other thing or another thing that we have on uh, on these compressors it's the um, speed that that uh, that compressor can go. It has a really low speed, about uh, 600 uh, RPMs, and then a really, really high speed of like 6,000 RPMs. The single stage compressors, uh, or single speed compressors, they normally run around uh, 37, 3,800 uh, RPMs. So having a unit that is capable to run at 6,000 um, 6, um, RPMs is gonna make that first process of uh, reaching the set point really fast and then if that same compressor is able to go down to 600 rpm it's going to save a lot of energy meanwhile it's, it's running so normally um, uh, brbs they work for longer period of time if they are not going like on off on off all the time they run like almost all the time but just idling so uh, they are really efficient. With the BRBs, we have a faster way to achieve the set point, and we have a way more efficient system. Also, in a different halls, like if you're in a catamaran or different rooms, um, you can have like a big difference of temperature if someone is, uh, likes to sleep a little bit uh, colder and someone likes to sleep a little bit uh, warmer you can control uh, that uh, temperature uh, independent in all those areas like uh, way better with a VRV than uh, with a chiller. Okay, so one of the really cool features of those units is like uh, we were talking before, like uh, the compressor itself and all the air handlers had all those like um, uh, control boards and all those sensors that are like monitoring like what's the status of the of the unit like uh, at any second so we can know what are the pressures temperatures uh, how much uh, power the unit it's it's, it's using and uh, we can access to all those things um, through the touch screen so we basically can have like 
if we go to the compressor, we can see what are all the pressures, what's the temperature of the water, and uh, what are the, the superheats. And uh, also you can go to the units and go one by one and get all that data. So that's a really cool uh, because we can see what's going on, and, but that also helps a lot because uh, that data can be sent through internet to us or to the manufacturer and uh, we can use that information uh, to remotely troubleshoot what's going on with the unit. Um, that it's possible uh, because um, those units are connected to the internet of the boat and then they use uh, any desk like a remote access to get uh, to that uh, information. So you have your, your main screen and then using any desk you can access uh, using your phone. So if you are away from your boat you can control which unit it's on, which unit it's off. If you are like two hours away and you can, uh, you want to um, turn the air conditioning on, so when you get to the boat, it's nice and, and cool. You can do it that from your phone. And if you have like a Raymarin a chart plotter, they have that uh, app on the screen, chart plotter, as a control for your for your panel. So all that data, it's also available um, remotely through your phone. You just get uh, to your to your app, you click all the same things that you're seeing on your screen at real time. So if you change anything on one side, it's going to change in the other. And any changes that you do with your phone or with your uh, chart plotter, they're going to happen at real time on your units. So it's a really good way for those two things. One, to have like a complete control of your unit when you are away from it. And second one, to help troubleshoot uh, remotely what's going on with your unit. So if one day you see that something is not going on, it's not cooling enough, it's not heating enough, something is a little bit off, we just need to log into your unit and see what are all the parameters and we can take a diagnose uh, from there. And the only downside that we find here in Florida is that the water pump keeps running all the time so we need to keep an eye on the strainer especially when it's summer and we have a lot of uh, uh, growth um, so we need just to keep an eye that we don't start like um, having like a lot of like marine growth inside we start have, like, having like barnacles so it's really really necessary to keep an eye on that strainer and schedule like one, at least once a year um, descaling of the uh, raw water system. So they use a titanium uh, condenser, so it's almost like a growth free. So you're not gonna have like any marine growth like going inside, but in all the lines that are coming, uh, I mean, it's Florida, there's a lot of like uh, uh, biological growth. And the other thing that we have here is uh, really hard water. So a lot of calcium and magnesium that that also it's going to start like depositing on all the lines so proper maintenance of those systems is really important for uh, longevity if you guys have any questions about these things let us know in the comments below and if you would consider liking and subscribing that helps a small channel like ours reach more sailors out there as we try to notify and inform and inspire people out there who are living their dreams on their boats and we will see you next time on the on deck channel